Apologies, my dear colleagues. All of us know that uh, rectal cancer increases uh, its uh, morbidity and prevalence, and the number of patients is growing. One quarter of them are patients with the fourth grade of the disease. And peritoneal carcinomatosis accounts for 15% of this quarter. These are the patients whom we are going to discuss now. Previously, before, we implemented the metal of reductive uh, uh, surgery with uh, peritoneal chemotherapy. Patients received systematic uh, uh, chemotherapy and life expectancy was not more than nine months. And now the results of system chemotherapy are better and the addition of Rinatikan and target drugs increases the expected total survival to 24 months. In case of isolated lesion of the peritoneum total survivability, black curve is the worst indicator as compared to metastasis to liver and lungs. Additional metastasis of other localizations deteriorates the indications, the red curve in the diagram. Uh, in the past century, they proposed a concept which a preliminary was mentioned, cytoreductive surgery, which uh, was uh, six types were proposed, totally or partly depending on the advancement of carcinomatosis. And the main purpose of surgery was to remove all the tumor uh, carcinomatosis uh, sections uh, from the abdominal cavity, total cytoreduction after surgery, interperitoneal uh, chemotherapy, intersurgical, uh, thermical, or early intrasurgical peritoneal. It should be said that uh, studies have been conducted, prospective and retrospective. This approach provides us with better indicators of total survival vis-a-vis -vis, uh, uh, the chemotherapy alone out of the drugs used in hypertermis, uh, peritoneum, uh, one, uh, we use metamycin and oxaliplatin. Talking about surgical in the interventions uh, as to debulking surgery, uh, we have got database, the frequency of complications of stage four and uh, three and four amounts to uh, 39 percent inconsistency of uh, anastomosis and abscesses and fistula entail the surgeries in, in 11 percent of patients. It should be mentioned that the development of complications uh, postpones and defers uh, the entire complex of treatment. In some situ situations, it's not possible to have chemotherapy and that deteriorates the uh, prognosis for the patient. Uh, for a long time, there was only one randomized study uh, to assess efficiency of inter, uh, abdominal uh, interperitoneal uh, chemotherapy, its contribution into total survival. It was done in 2003 and long-term one, uh, 2008. Two groups were there. Uh, one after debulking, there was uh, uh, chemotherapy uh, of the peritoneum. In other ones, it, uh, the group, it was systemic. Uh, uh, chemotherapy uh, median uh, survival with patients was uh, twice high vis a vis the patients who didn't get uh, chemotherapy 22 uh, versus 11, 12 months. The median of relaxed free survival was higher in the group with chemotherapy. What's very important as well that five year survival was only demonstrated by those patients whereby they had full debulking 45%. After another very interesting study, multi-site study was published in 2010 uh, to France, medium follow-up of 45 months, and it was indicated that such an approach provides for five-year survival at the level of 27% and 10% relapse-free survival. Multivariant analysis was made. It shows that uh, the minimal value of peritoneal carcinomatosis index, uh, uh, debulking, uh, uh, no lesions of lymph nodes, and adjuvant chemotherapy is associated with better indicators of total survival of the patients. Uh, but several years after that study, uh, 
quite recently another publication showed the results uh, uh, by the same authors who were in the previous uh, clinical trial. Their goal was to assess the influence of hypertrophic uh, internal uh, peritoneal chemotherapy and its contribution into turtle survival. In, in the previous study, chemotherapy was conducted by different drugs. Sometimes it was combined uh, done in combination here in group one of patients were only getting debulking, debulking surgery and systemic chemotherapy. And second one after surgery, chemotherapy by salsaliplatin and systemic chemotherapy. What did come out of it? Complications of third and five, fifth degree were higher and more statistically significant in the group with the therapy and interperitoneal uh, uh, surgery. And there were no difference in medians of total survival and relapse-free survival. Only relapse-free five one-year relapse-free survival was different. Uh, the recurrence happened later in those patients, and medians of total survival was shown in persons whereby uh, carcinomatonies uh, um, interperitoneal index was between 11 and 15. Debulking surgeries demonstrate satisfactory survival, but chemotherapy. And uh, uh, with subsaliplatin in interperitoneal, um, does not impact total survival. To which, ex uh, ex uh, how uh, good will this chemotherapy will be for patients with a median index between 11 and 15? There should be more studies about it. Once again, uh, we don't know about vitamin C, how effect efficient it is. Maybe we need a study or an audit of that as well to find out the efficacy. In our center of proctology, uh, we made uh, observational study including 117 patients, and I'll show you the analysis of uh, 102 patients with debulking surgery, with full debulking, and chemotherapy with metamycin. Uh, for uh, most of the patients, uh, uh, it was duodenoma uh, localization of tumor synchronous lesions of period in most part of them, there were adenocanceroma, uh, moderately differentiated in 50% of patients. Tumor was growing into all the intestinal walls and into surrounding structures of tissues in 80% of the patients who had surgery. Uh, the medium of uh, distant uh, lymph nodes was uh, removed. Uh, six uh, uh, lymph nodes were um, lesioned in these, uh, uh, after this drug. Potential resectable non-peritoneal metastasis were in 26% of patients, and in 73% of patients, they were not shown. Median, uh, median of uh, conservative illness was three in 60%. It was in uh, borders uh, between uh, two and three to ten. And here are the results of the surgery. Uh, median length 140, loss, uh, blood loss 150 milliliters. 21% of patients developed complications. Uh, and we made four uh, laparotomy uh, in regarding those uh, uh, complications. There was inconsistency with a thin and a thick wall of anastomosis. Those two patients died. The results uh, uh, relapse free and median survival was 13 and total survival 31 months. Uh, and we made multi factor analysis of the factors which could impact the indicators of uh, total survival, the localization of tumor in the right region of duodenum, and uh, the value of this uh, peritoneal carcinomatous index is associated to worsened uh, total survival. Here you can see the impact of the localization of the tumor above uh, just its uh, left region, red curve shows right region, and medians are here, 50 versus 22 months of the survival. And here you can see a uh, total survival, middle survival, uh, median survival was peritoneum carotomatonis index in excess of six. Uh, it was less 22 versus 46 months with uh, lower values of this index. We also 
uh, analyze the regression factors impacting relapse free survival, and it looks like younger age of children no, of patients under 54 and localization of the tumor in the right regiments of duodenum, duodenum uh, the cancer of uh, the rectum and metastasis are associated with worsened uh, um, uh, survival and relapse free survival. As to younger uh, patients uh, below 54, it was 54 uh, months and uh, just uh, above 54, 16. And localization of the right regions, uh, regions of the uh, duodenum, it was uh, uh, just uh, the survival was different from the left regiments and also uh, uh, external uh, period Toenial metastasis uh, worsened the uh, relapse free survival and total survival after the surgery. Uh, uh, Post op, uh, patients were under systemic therapy and then there were regular checkups on the program uh, in order to identify the relapse of the disease, which was diagnosed in uh, 69 out of 100 patients. Uh, relapse of peritoneal carcinomatosis was uh, found in 40 patients. Uh, the time of lapse uh, from a primary surgery on peritoneal carcinomatosis to diagnosis of the first relapse of median was 11 uh, months. 17 per patients out of 40 with a relapse uh, in their peritoneal were operated on. And in 16, uh, in follow-up, uh, we managed to reach full debulking. And the median uh, the, of the index was 4 in 16 on patient with surgery. 12% uh, of patients uh, displayed uh, complications. Further on, we uh, did the, the, the checkups of those patients and were followed up out in 16 out of the full number. There was a relapse of carcinomatosis in 12 months uh, index. Uh, uh, they were operated and in the situation only in only in five patients we did full debulking. And in three cases uh, we had we could do the surgery because we couldn't make the prognosis for the advance of carcinomatosis and the uh, final outcome of the surgery. And uh, there were uh, lots of uh, consoles, uh, commissures, and scars from the previous operation. Uh, total survival with the of the relapsed patients, uh, actually, uh, we assess that higher value was in the groups of surgery patients. Uh, and there were differences in uh, survivals in the patients with a surgery vis-a-vis -vis chemotherapy and surgery vis-a-vis -vis symptomatic treatment. Yeah, summarizing, I can say that in this category, for this category, it's very important to exercise personified approach. We try to assess patient uh, uh, initially whether a hail tolerate tolerate the full volume, uh, full amount of treatment, because planning for this category of patients is really very important for, and it can impact drastically the results of the treatment. In our study, uh, just negative factor of prognosis for relapse-free age was the age above 54, localization in the right regimen of duodenum and extra uh, peritoneal uh, metastasis. But patients with this negative factor uh, could be operated as well. We wouldn't say no to them. And also, they will be entitled to uh, um, peritoneal and systemic um, chemotherapy and very careful and tentative uh, conclusion about repeated uh, interventions. It is possible and expedient, but in specifically selected category of patients only. Thank you very much. That's it.